0157H7, the strain of E. coli bacteria found in food products that come in contact with animal fecal matter that is fatal to humans. There is a pastoral veil blinding where our food comes from. We don't realize the meat we consume is from a place very different from that quaint little red barn. For example, a chicken may take only 47 days to reach maturity, but the squalid conditions and diet foster disease for both farmers and animals. The amount of people per year sick in the United States because of foul food. The amount that die. In feedlot life, bacteria such as E. coli thrive as overcrowded animals live in pools of their own waste. Bacteria in the manure get caked into the hides, thus contaminating meat during slaughter. One hamburger contains meat from thousands of cattle, upping the risk for consuming contaminants. If that isn't enough to make you rethink where you get your meat, contemplate this next point. The Earth's resources cannot sustain the 1.3 billion cattle raised in feedlots. The amount of fresh water in the American West used directly for raising livestock. The amount it takes to make one hamburger, from raising the animal to processing the meat. In the last 30 years, the United States' appetite for meat has grown by 40 pounds per person per year. You do the math. How much precious water do we waste in producing possibly contaminated meat? Treat meat like you treat caviar. Pay the extra for organic, locally raised products. Your health and the health of the environment will be sustainably improved. We set the commitment to go meatless Monday. For me, I mean, I'll tell you, I'm a, I'm, I'm a pretty big meat eater, mm -hmm. and but if you can get the world to go meatless one day a week, the benefits it have. First, the benefits on themselves, you know, for, for women, risk of cancer, heart disease, fighting diabetes, obesity, live longer, but then there's a lot of um, environmental impact if everybody just chose to do it one day a week, and it's talking uh -huh. about um, water conservation, um, um, the cost of fuel, things like that. Yeah. I personally, I mean, I'm a fan of this, not, not speaking for for the vegetarian side of it, but for speaking for the environmental impact of it. Yeah. Um, it's, it's really hard because, you know, you're working with the majority of meat eaters here yeah. and you start throwing a fit. Yeah. But it, it, it is